OK, let's chuck it across to the other comms booth to take you through it. Carl Tanana and Dallas Stanford. Good evening, guys. Evening. Thanks so much, Roops. Yes, here we are right now. It's Chile, the Los Condores Sevens. After beating Germany 15 12, lost to South Africa and England. That's how they find their way here on the Scottish side. Good one against Jamaica on day one. But then New Zealand took him out 43 points to five. And Kenya 24 points to five. These are the sides right here. Carl Tanana. Your thoughts, my friend, on this one coming up? Yeah, well, two sides that I think uh, Dallin would match pretty evenly, to be fair. Both had one win, but a couple of disappointing losses. So it's a chilling team, though. I'm really impressed with some of their outings so far. Real nuggety type of team. Geez, that lady's got muscles like you don't. Oh, the crowd thoroughly enjoying it here at the Cape Town Sevens. It's party mode right now. Anything goes in the Sevens. Oh, that's classic. Here come the sides right now. Scotland led out by Jamie Farnell. Keen Weechi bringing out the Chilean side to this brilliant stage for the Sevens World Cup in Africa. Well, tell you what, Dallin, this is the moment where these two teams at this time of the day on day two you can really feel the buzz around the ground. I can tell you, these men right here on screen will be feeling that vibe. You see the one win against Jamaica, a loss against New Zealand was pretty emphatic. Kenyan won, that's the one they would have been disappointed in. With Chile again, they had their first win against a very tough German team and going down against the home team, which is Fair enough within England as well, getting that zero. But like I said, this Chilean team, very, very good in parts. Savita Rocco Vereni from Fiji is our referee here. Uh, as the sun yeah. is back and Ready? shining. With some cloudy, cool conditions early on. And we are getting to some of the big games here. So this is the challenge. 13th place semi-final. Chile on the left in white, kicking off to Scotland on the right. Cape Town Stadium holds 55,000 mad fans. And if they're not in their seats right now, they're grabbing a few quiet jars, getting ready for the eight quarterfinals coming up later between the women's and the men's, the two different cops going this weekend. Here we are underway. Scotland, good and lift there to Harvey Elms. Prides himself to be the hardest worker in the room. Across they go to Callum Young and Barreto. So good. Safalaren just runs straight. Big smash from Femi, 22-year-old. Across Lee Jones, the veteran of the side. Here comes Elms now. They're going to link up with Farndale. Jamie Farndale, what a player he's been over the years, but pinged. Oh, that's a shame there because Scotland, after their strong run on the years by Sofalaren, this opposite absolutely saw our Billy. He felt that for sure. He's still copping. Some medical attention there on that left shoulder. Jeez, a big contact. Look at this. No sides there whatsoever. He takes the hit initially. Comes back for a second attempt. Does well too, yeah. but after that, it just comes away. Yeah. Sore. It was like the Matrix. There's a ball in front of him. He can run up. I've actually seen that before. I bet you have, my friend. Chile. Las Condores, an exciting brand of rugby. Ernest Chimino gets it down at the set piece, looking across field. Weechi, the captain, flicks it up in support there. Zvedia. Now they work on the right-hand side. Oh, it's a lovely little offload, and a fan coming through. Diego Warkin will get it done. And Los Condores sevens are smiling early. This is what I was talking about earlier on, pre-kickoff, Dallin. They've been able to create these tries, and he just walks in, all right, with a left hand, strong fend up top. What a start from Chile. Off the back of a mistake from Scotland. Look, look at that. Doesn't get much better. Great fend right on the chest. Great timing on the shoulder on Jones. Perfect start for Chile. Lovely highlight at the Rugby World Cup Sevens for this young player. Diego Warnkin, 21 years of age, and adds the extras as well. Not about the size, is Mundo Ormford has got a bunch of 20-year-olds in, brilliant for the future of the game for them. No doubt, they want to get opportunities at this massive stage. How good as that, as a young player, can't replace it. He uses his right boot to put it up for his teammates. It comes down to Scotland, though. They have a chance, no, then it's lost it. Chilean hands, good take, Felipe Branger. 33-year-old, the veteran has it for his side. Now the ball over the top. 
It'll bounce up. Warren Convini goes to collect as Barreto hits him. Julio Black, the 15s captain international, gets it away. And Vadir comes back against the grain. Ben Hamin does well for Chile with Julio Blanc on his shoulder. Looking aggressive here as they take it to the line yet again. That tackle needed to be made and did. Still there for Luca Avili. Across come Chile. Looking to open up. Chamino. Ball in one hand. Chamino engages. Just tackled in the bootstraps as Joaquin Weechi, the captain. They turn it back on the inside. Big collision. Avili hit hard. But still plenty of possession here for the Los Condores Sevens. The South Americans. They're going to take on the Scottish side. Blank once more. Plays for the Salknam province in the Slark competition. So most of their players play 15s. Beautiful ball over the top. Looking to open up some space on that far side. And Ricci's been everywhere early on. Stutters on the end. Goes on the out. Puts the kick as well. Players falling everywhere, it sits up! Weechi, the captain, has come up with a bit of goal here in Cape Town. Oh, how good is that? Had no right to score this. Look at this, looping around, fakes on the inside, just gets the defence caught flat-footed, and Lee Jones puts a little chip in. I thought he could have made it anyway. Maybe a hint of a little push at the back end of it. But Jacqueline... Oh, yeah. Yeah, coach says, yeah, you betcha. Take that as well. What a celebration on the big stage. Shuichi. Look at an example. Hold on. Still time three off. games, just like one of the Scottish players. Looks like an HIA, so he's going to just come off here. Maybe it's Jones. Hold on. Maybe he was trying the Matrix from Has he been earlier. On? Scotland stunned so far. 14 points to nothing. Right. And this challenge, 13th place semi-final. And Joaquin Weechi and Diego Hornkin. Ready? They've really been okay, time on. excellent in this first half. Lee Jones that came to the side. It's all about getting possession here. And it does come the way of the Los Condor Sevens. Over. The men in white looking to come back yet again at a dummy stone one kit. Near the halfway line. Brangia gets it on the outside. Looking to cut in. Julio Blanc hit hard there with a strong shoulder from Paddy Kelly. It still stays with the South American side. Scotland have not exited their half. Still, the pressure comes. Felipe Brangier, captain of the series qualifier side for four years. Knock on advantage, Has White. it loose, a knock on advantage, oh, and wow. a dummy is thrown. Julio Blanc looking on the outside. Big, strong knock on bash advantage. from Clemente Armstrong. And looking so dangerous in this first half. No advantage. Well, the secret so far is for this Chilean team, the very proficient at the breakdown, have been really owning Here's the mark. that space, and Scotland just can't get any hands on the ball, and now they want some restarts. The restarted three times, the one or three is the solid contact again Let's go. by Paddy Kelly, who's been Let's good. Go. And there's the backup by the skip. Farndale, who's you'd expect, would do that all day long. Move to the mark, guys. An opportunity Move finally for Scotland to get guys. some pill. Nearly six minutes gone in this first yeah. half. Grouch. Interesting, they're head to head in the series. Scotland won all three Five. games they played in the series. Oh. Chile looking Set. to take oh, out the wait, Scottish wait. side. Under a minute to go in the first half. Barretta for Scotland. Elms drifts across field. Sophie Lauren puts on the jet shoes. Femi Sophie Lauren. Given any sort of space, he will do the damage. And the Scottish flyer has an excellent response. Sometimes the best things are the simplest things. That's just the straight hands. Give it to your athlete on the outside and just let him jam. Nice time into the pass from Harvey Jones. Takes out that center, so it's a one-on-one -on -one straight up and down and Femi Sofalaren wins that battle easy the number 10 he's had a nice strong run earlier on in the half this time he just uses his absolute extreme speed oh, he's always been brilliant to watch on that outside channel kick goes over from Matt Davidson 14 points to 7 well, born in the USA but a Scottish grandmother as well we know he's represented England in the 
younger ages, under the age of 20. Gone, right? Yeah. Kaleem Barreto. Puts it up, a hanging kick. The lift is there. Excellent work again. Joaquin Uichi with it. And they want to go to the break. It's a strong first oh, yeah. half here from this Chilean side. They lead Scotland here in the challenge 13th place semi-final by 14 points to seven. Brilliant first seven minutes there. Chile allowing Scotland to come back in the game, but they had all the position, KT. Yeah, a lot of them was from the restarts. I, mean, just, I don't know if you heard or not, but the referee, Tabito Rocco Benini, just telling the Chilean players, they lift it in the restart, you can't throw the player forward, got to bring them straight down immediately. So just a technical thing for them in terms of Scotland. Well, just a bit more ball in hand. Try to keep hands on ball and build faces. They look good when they do. Attack, keep that going. Go out there, we've got to be relentless here. It's a fight. Six minutes, he got the ball, right? Six minutes to defend it. We know how hard that is. And the air. Perfect. It's super important. The job that we have. The job Oh, you saw Edmundo Alfos, the coach Chile at the Rugby World Cup 7 in 2018. He played in 2001. You remember that year, KT? Yeah, we went all right that year, I'll be honest. Didn't see him. But I'll tell you, I love the mannerisms that they give the Americans. Oh, it's so engaging. Chile! You look pretty sharp. Really sharp. Cape Town welcomes the world to the 2022 Rugby World Cup Sevens. Brilliant footage here. It's Chile up 14-7 at the break. Next up, Canada take on Wales. The winner of this will take on the winner of that next game as well. And then after that, it's men's challenge semi-final time. Uruguay against the USA. And then England will take on Kenya. Nice to the light of the crowd here at Cape Town Stadium. Second half, Kaleem Barreto for Scotland. Gets us going and there's an error. Oh, it's a massive error for the start of the second half. They've hardly had any ball to work with and then to be in front of the kicker. Inexcusable. You're trying to work yourself back into the game and knowing that Chile are able to hold the ball for multiple plays. You see them just slowing the play down here. Wonka, he was so good in that first half, gets it away. Lucas Trabucci plays in the 15 side national team as well. Across they go. Wonka really has hold all the keys in this game. Strabucci's there. In support. He made his debut for Chile in Vancouver in 2021 on the series. Down the short side, they work yet again. Vadir is there. More numbers if they need him. Their captain, Joaquin Wichi. Almost gets it away. But again, those two explosive players really doing most of the damage. And they're doing it in short corridors there, Dale, and two. They had the whole other side of the field, 90. Meters of it. Look at how they go down the short side. This is where they're so good. Get on the outside of the player. Looking for Let's go. the support players on the inside. Go. Good, Let's desperate tackle go. by the winger. Sofalara and just to stop that whole, whole movement. Let's make it quicker. We have Little feature of their play. Crouch. Yeah, Scotland have done well to just be Mind. down by the seven points. Oh. With very oh. little possession Sit. to speak of in this oh. game. Wait, 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 beat Jamaica wait, yesterday. Wait, wait. lost to New Zealand in the round of 16. Today, Kenya took him out, 24 no. to 5. Binding, right. So looking to bounce back here, Barreto, not on the mark. No, no, this is the mark. This is the mark. So from there, 22. Scotland, oh, that's a monster bumper. What a pass as well from Harvey Elms. I didn't see it. Oh, it was great skill. So for Lauren, piles into this Wasn't one. Held. Not held, so able to roll forward to get more momentum. Barreto, lovely ball on the outside. Callum Young gets a switch to Fondale. Finds Elms yet again. He ducks under a high shot. High tackle. And he'll keep marching upfield. Barreto. Oh, what a ball! Femi Sofa Lauren in full flight. Finds Barreto back on the inside. He floats it over. This is Scotland. Really putting it together. Paddy Kelly was involved there too. Elms, 
He knows their space. A big whip on the outside to Callum Young. Fondale with him on those shoulders. A brilliant attacking opportunity here as they try to cut back in again through Paddy Kelly. Scotland determined after the half time chat. They go over to Fondale. And the bagpiper is in the corner for Scotland. And that's the patience they've been wanting. It was a nice breakout initially deep in their own half. A couple of nice passes. Sofalan was very heavily involved. But also Caleb Barreto. He's the one that started it all. With a beautiful skip pass with a couple more to go as well. Composure kept by Scotland. There's the draw. Elms was the one in the middle of the park who threw two beautiful passes. That was the one for the try assist. He's known as Farno by his teammates. He's not scoring tries like this. He's playing the bagpipes to entertain the crowds. And that was an important conversion. We're locked up at 14 apiece. There he is for tournament tries as well. Jamie Fardo, they go quickly. Harvey Elms up the middle. Oh, looking for the line. Sliding, using his momentum. Inches short. short. Barreto is there. Scotland. On the pressure mounts. Callum Young slides in. And just like that, they've scored two in quick succession. But it was a heads-up play for, from Callum Barreto from the restart. Took it quickly. Chile weren't ready for it. Here it is here. Look at that. The halfback is so aware. Backs himself. Good pass. Elms probably could have given it here to make it easy, but thought he would back himself. Nice, desperate defence here coming back from Chile. But they did well here, Scotland. They were able to just reset, get a quick cleaner there. Look at this. Another left to right. Bullet from the halfback Burrito to set him up on the outside. Two quick scores for Scotland, have them in the lead. You mentioned the quick thinking, Harvey Elms is on it as well. Kathleen Barreto, he has really been a difference maker for his country. Kick over as well. 21 points to 14. Two to go in this game. The winner will play the winner of the next game. The restart oh, on, flying up. Not able to grab it. So Chile may have a chance now. Five offside. A quick tap. Up the middle they go. Warnkin looks for support. Comes in the form of Brangia. Gets a big butt. Space now for Chimino. Chile. Seven against seven, no sweeper back. Brangia bumps another. Away! It's always good for a Roll couple. See, they'll just take their time. Absolutely spent. Now the Chilean players couldn't roll away out of that one. Good Barreto, so got a set piece line out here with a very inventive. Good, strong, heavy carries too. Chile, just to get away with the advantage line, just settle this play down a little bit. Long time to go on this one. Make sure so you stop. Benjamin Vidia, play for Chile in the World Rugby America's Pacific Challenge. Backwards. Important set piece. It's a bit messy. Reese Cullen on the field, but has knocked it on. Off the floor. They're going to have one more opportunity, I think, just to try and even this game up here, Chile. Gonna have to pull out their best move. Let's go, guys. From the scrum, gonna have to be strong. Competition at the line out here was from Scotland was able to Coach. make it a 50 50 ball, but here we go. Coach. It was all chilly early on. And then all Scotland. A back Set. and forth affair. Did you expect early when you push. get to these you. knockout stages, of course, in the, later in the competition? Eliminated early from the Melrose Cup. But still a lot of competition for these countries. Rangier slips on the ground. Joaquin Wichi is there. Knee on the ground. Thank you. And Clemente Armstrong. Big wide ball to their playmaker. Throws a lovely dummy. There's Ben Amin Vidya. Andrew first. Number six. So they keep going. Number three. Jeez, on the mark. He's hard done by there, Scotland. I thought he was all right. Paddy Kelly been stung for coming in the side. Says the referee. They are hanging on for dear life. You can see it before, earlier on in the game. 
The line speed was very good down, and this time they're just sliding across and keeping their defensive structure strong. Oh, here we go. Is this a line out drive? Looks a lot of numbers going into this line out. Well, we Let's have go. seen it before. A big moment for Chilean rugby here. Los Condor sevens. Can they tie this thing up and take us into extra time? Good ball there at the top. And now they race away with Felipe Brangier into the 22. Barreto. No, it's Number still momentum. We can hear them calling for a scrum here, Chile. A lot of teams are employing that move from the line out where the centre will come in and just have that crash ball. What it does, it sets up some nice ruck if you don't go through. And from there, your forwards can run off that. But geez, this is a massive, massive call. Crutch! So Luca Strabucci is just lurking on the right hand side. Wait, Scotland, wait! No, 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 no. It's like he's at a restaurant waiting for his friends. They don't go to him. So they pick and go towards the line with more, big more Inisto now. Cimino. Oh, the ball's been ripped free and then hacked out. Not out. Still there. Oh, it's been scooped up. Julio Blanc may have scored. We will check. Oh, a lot to digest here, that's for sure. No. You're happy with the gun, Nick? Thank you. Oh, there we go. Julio Blanc, mistake there. Good defence initially. It was called. A mall. Scotland just needed to kill it and go to deck. It pops out right here. The kick doesn't go out. And what about this fortuitous bounce? Reward for a hard chase on a kick. This kick to lock it up is there. Lucas Strabucci will take us. It's a golden point. 21 all. What about the pressure on the kick? Oh man, he has got iceness in his veins. Here we go, left foot, wrong side of the field. Nothing but net. What a comeback uh, from the Los Condores Sevens Tails. here in Cape Town. Edmundo Alfos yes. says yes, please. 21 all. We will go into extra time. Eso, eso, la presión es de ellos mismos. Nada más. Igual están desesperados para intentar lo que sea. Nosotros tranquilos. The second time Chile is going to extra time in this tournament. They beat Germany 15-12 on day one. I think the thing is Scotland are actually going to kick the ball off. They're just talking their tactics through. How they're going to go, whether they go long. Trying to keep ball. But for me, you talk about this Chilean team twice going to extra time. They're just one of those teams that are hard to beat. That makes sense. And I'll fight for everything. A lot of it's effort plays. That is why you can never switch off against them. So I make plays like that. The bounce of the ball is, you know, being a former international down if it goes your way, anything's possible. Well, Katie, half of what you say doesn't make sense, but that does. <laughs> you absolute star. We are going to go. The first team to score will win. This is what makes seven so thrilling. The colourful fans are ready at Cape Town Stadium. The weather been so good as the restarts. So, Scotland, we're just talking about... What's the most, who's that? Is that Gareth Reese? What's he doing? Get back to work. It's chilly out there too, but he's not scared. I'll show you behind. Chile on the left, kicking off. All important restart in extra time. 21 all, knock back to Scotland. The ball's bouncing around, sliding there. Reese Cullen, he picks it up and gets handled. Yeah. Oh, Brangier, look at him doing the strength turnover. Oh, there it is for Las Condores. Possession now, just Bandage. outside the 22. Offside. And the penalty for offside play. Do they take the kick here, Dallin? What's the number? We know how good they are. Number We're just five. seeing to see Brand here saying, yeah, let's have a offside. shot. What do you reckon? Here we go. Oi, oi, oi. Sneaky there <laughs> going forward is Lucas Trabucci trying to what get a few do? extra meters. Post, post. There it is. The signal from the head coach, Edmundo Alfos, who's been here before. He played in 2001. 
He's coached them in 2018 and now in 2022. Hey, you can't talk. Yeah, hands by his To win this, Luca Strabucci. For the great nation of Chile. He turns, he loves it. They've won it. Cape Town Stadium erupts. What a brilliant moment for his side. Pure joy. You can feel it. Amazing scenes for Chile and hard luck for Scotland. They've won this in sudden death by 24 points to 21. A beautiful kick from Diego Wonkett. And his side have made a special moment here at the Cape Town Sevens. So we'll move straight on to the next match here. Well, the hits keep coming.